Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will show you on how to create your first scheduler application using Web Scheduler. First, create a new website using Intersoft Empty Website Project Template. Drag and drop Web Scheduler control from toolbox. Then, we need to bind Web Scheduler to a database. Since this application is created from scratch, we need to create a new database. With the help of Web Scheduler Database Wizard tool, we can create a new SQL database with predefined table structure specified. Open Web Scheduler Database Wizard tool from Smart Tag and specify the server name. After that, type the name of the new database and press the Create button. In this tutorial, the database name is Scheduler DB. Note that the succeed message is displayed when the new database has been created. After the database is created, we need to create a data set. Right click on app code and add a new data set. In this tutorial, we will name it Web Scheduler Data.xsd. Open Server Explorer and add a new connection to Scheduler DB database. Choose the server name and select Scheduler DB in database drop down. Test the connection and save the file. Expand Scheduler DB database in data connections and drag all tables to the data set. Then save the file. Now, open class view and expand Web Scheduler data table adapters. Note that the insert, update, and delete methods have been generated automatically for each table adapters. The generated insert method in these table adapters only performs insert action to the database. We need to extend the insert method to return the ID, because Web Scheduler needs the ID to perform data operation correctly. Right click on app code and create a new class. Web Scheduler data.cs In each table adapter class, create a new insert method. In this new method, invoke the generated insert method, and select the ID after that. Pass the ID as the return value of the new insert method. Repeat these steps for each class in Web Scheduler Data Table Adapters and save the file. We will use these methods as the insert methods of Web Scheduler objects in IS Data Source. Back to default.aspx and view the design time. Drag and drop IS data source control from toolbox and choose configure data source. Choose the schema name and click next. Then click auto generate button to add IS data source table list from the selected schema. Note that the select, update, insert, and delete methods for each table is configured automatically. Ensure each table has used the extended insert method that returns the ID of a table. Click Finish. Set the data source ID property to IS data source. Set the data member properties to each related table name. After that, expand data binding and set the field properties to each related field name. In Web Scheduler, Resources and events data member and binding properties need to be specified. If you don't use categories, recurring events, or recurrence info data, they do not need to be specified. In this tutorial, all the data members and binding properties are specified. After all binding properties are specified, save and view in browser. Since the database is still empty, there is no resource or event displayed in Web Scheduler. Back to Visual Studio. Expand Data Editing and enable all properties. Web Scheduler includes built-in editing form using the sophisticated Intersoft input controls. When Allow Edit property is enabled, the editing wizard is displayed. In the wizard, you can specify the folder name where the built-in editing form will be placed. Click OK. 
the editing form will be added automatically to the solution project, and editing URL property will automatically refer to the editing form path. Save and view in browser. When an empty cell is clicked, a quick add callout will be displayed. Click the detail link to show the editing form. Add a new resource using the add resource callout and it will be added to the resource combo box. To create a new event, select a resource, type the title of the event. Set the date and time. And select the important status. You can also add a new category and set it to the event. Click Save and Close. A new event will be created on the specified date and time. The summary of the event is displayed in the callout. For further information about Web Scheduler's editing functionality, Please check Web Scheduler editing video. With simple settings, you can now easily bind and insert new event in Web Scheduler. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. For further information, you can visit our website at www.intersoftpt.com.